it is not a personal advice. It's something that is always in the Quran and in the advices of the Prophet But mm -hmm. I'm just telling you that when uh, I myself went through whatever, and also the people who have asked me like uh, similar questions, mm -hmm. I advise them with the same. Constantly making istighfar. Yep. Istighfar is to sit and say astaghfirullah al azim wa atubu ilayh. Not a hundred or two hundred times in, in circumstances like that, make them thousands of times. You know, sit for hours, say Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad. Wallahi, it does wonders. It is very miraculous. Mm -hmm. Didn't the Prophet Sallallahu said, إِذَنْ تُكْفَى Once you, you do that, when you occupy your time sending the peace and the blessings upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, all Allah. your needs will be taken care of. Your dua will be accepted even without making dua. Because this is one of the things which Allah loves most. Mm -hmm. He said, Allah does so. His angels do so. And the believers, oh, who you believe, join Allah and His angels. Send the peace and the blessings Allah upon Allah. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. Many people are negligent of the virtues of istighfar and sending the peace and the blessings upon the Prophet Wasallam. So whether you are in adversity or in prosperity, increase sending the peace and the blessings upon the Prophet Wasallam. And especially uh, the circumstances. The Quran says among the benefits of istighfar is increasing the risk, the provision. Okay? And I have an amazing experience, especially in the States, as I used to make istighfar, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, wallahi, provide for me for means and ways which I could never imagine. How did this happen? Istighfar, the barakah of seeking forgiveness, mm -hmm. humbling yourself before Allah. I know some people will say, but we don't do anything bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not only about doing something bad. It's about not being perfect not fulfilling our duties properly, showing our weakness before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why does Allah like the position of sujood most? And why the Prophet sallallahu said that أَقْرَبُ مَا يَكُونُ الْعَبْدُ مَنْ رَبِّهِ وَهُوَ سَاجِدٌ And he said, increase making sujood as uh, dua while you are prostrating yourselves. Because you, whenever you think yourself, whatever, you lower your head, you bow down, and you prostrate your head on the floor before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with full submission and declare that you are the weakest and Allah is the greatest. There Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala delivers. He accepts your dua because you know your position before Allah as a servant. One last advice. I know that you are in adversity or having financial trouble. Give in a charity. Give in a charity? Yes, a lot of people come back to me and say, you know, it did work. Of course, it did work. Because, um, you know, al jaza'u min jins al amal. You help mm. somebody who's in need. What the Prophet sallallahu said in this regard. Kana Allahu fi awni al abd ma dam al abdu fi awni akhi. As long as you're helping somebody, Allah will be always helping you and in your assistance. One of the greatest deeds is to help those who are in need. So you help somebody, Allah will be the one who is helping you. And send those who would help you even without knowing you. So you know somebody, you know, you only have one buck. And you know somebody is desperately in need. If you can split it with them or if you give it to them, guaranteed Allah will deliver the relief immediately.